My name is Nick Lyons, and I'm a senior motion designer at Territory Studio in London. I got started in motion graphics in 2010. I um, studied motion graphics at Savannah College of Art and Design for two years and worked really, really hard. And uh, I contacted um, Jennifer Miller at Blur Studio and wanted to work with them very badly. I loved the work they did. It was very inspiring. And I was like, I really need to get there. And yeah, I ended up working in LA for a couple of years at Blur and it was, yeah, that's kind of my, my start. The work I've been doing at Territory, like I feel like I've really, I've become like an artist that I've been wanting to become for a while at Territory. I've increased my skill set pretty dramatically as well, but that's a testament to the people that I work with. Like, I don't do this stuff on my own, and when I'm working around like incredible people that have these amazing portfolios that are constantly coming to work, you can't kind of like stagnate in this industry because it's, it's changing so dramatically. So um, I think my mindset of always trying to surround myself with the most talented people I can find has paid off. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of invaluable, really. At Territory, we do quite a bit of user interface work, and I think the way we approach it depends on kind of the style the director's wanting to portray. There's kind of a, a style for that, that, that Mar the Marvel Universe has created. I think the Iron Man HUD was like a huge, like, like uh, the foundational piece that kind of launched screen graphics into like, the, the, like where we are now. But if you look at something like Blade Runner, where it's very analog and kind of gritty and um, just not very clean, it's very kind of bulky. Um, it just depends, I think, on the tone of the, the film and what, uh, what the director is looking for mostly, yeah. Uh, what I like most about working at After Effects is the fluidity of the process. I find it very intuitive, very easy to use. You can do very complex things that you'd normally do in Cinema 4D in After Effects quite easily. And I think After Effects has been like a massive time-saving tool. If you, can, if you can work in After Effects and do it in After Effects, I think you should more often than not because it saves a lot of time over any other process really. I'd like to say I think in this in this industry it's important to kind of stay true to yourself and the type of work that you like doing. I remember Ira Glass quote about having taste is super important. Nick Campbell brought that up on one of his podcasts like years and years ago about if you know what looks good you, you know and that's like something you can't be taught but the tools can be learned and to keep pushing yourself on the tools and you'll eventually get there. And yeah, don't get discouraged because there's so much work out there and uh, you can go online and see how amazing it looks, but you can create amazing work too and it doesn't have to be like everyone else's.